And the Essex Muslim, who's got a, some Valentine's Day? I'm very excited. The first couple of days I didn't sleep at night when I got the invitation. Who, who is it? We'll find out just before nine. Lisa Holmes, this is the Essex. And the team, Tim, Mark and Andrew. Now, a leading Muslim at Chelmsford Mosque has a special date on St Valentine's Day. She's meeting the Queen. Sidra Naim, who's also the Muslim chaplain at Anglia Ruskin University, has been invited to a reception at Buckingham Palace, which recognises people who've worked hard in their communities. What a wonderful moment this is going to be. And Sidra says she's so excited. Since 2003, I've been part of three interfaith forums where I've been building relationships between different faiths. I have been Secretary of Essex Mind and Spirit, which is a voluntary organisation which deals with mental health and faith, how faith helps with mental health. I also contributed towards the Islamic curriculum in Essex, which went out to thousands of schools and voluntarily I go into schools, I deliver lessons, assemblies, I advise teachers on Islamic matters and also cultural matters as well. And I've also been an advisor, really, for education, for Essex County Council, for Essex Police, Essex Fire Service. It's never-ending. I'm always there to advise people. Recently, now, within chaplaincy, I'm advising other chaplains around England, establish good relationships with other faiths. What would you want to share with her? I think if I get the opportunity, I would like to tell her about everything that I have been doing because I've been raising uh, so much money for charities at an international level as well as national. And I would tell her, you know, I'm a teacher. And the Essex Muslim who's got a St Valentine's Day? I'm very excited. The first couple of days I didn't sleep at night when I got the invitation. Who is it? We'll find out just before nine. Lisa Holmes, this is the Essex. And the team, Tim, Mark and Andrew. Now, a leading Muslim at Chelmsford Mosque has a special date on St Valentine's Day. She's meeting the Queen. Sidra Naim, who's also the Muslim chaplain at Anglia Ruskin University, has been invited to a reception at Buckingham Palace, which recognises people who've worked hard in their communities. What a wonderful moment this is going to be. And Sidra says she's so excited. Since 2003, I've been part of three interfaith forums where I've been building relationships between different faiths. I have been Secretary of Essex Mind and Spirit, which is a voluntary organisation which deals with mental health and faith, how faith helps with mental health. I also contributed towards the Islamic curriculum in Essex, which went out to thousands of schools and voluntarily I go into schools, I deliver lessons, assemblies, I advise teachers on Islamic matters and also cultural matters as well. And I've also been an advisor, really, for education, for Essex County Council, for Essex Police, Essex Fire Service. It's never-ending. I'm always there to advise people. Recently, now, within chaplaincy, I'm advising other chaplains around England, establish good relationships with other faiths. What would you want to share with her? I think if I get the opportunity, I would like to tell her about everything that I've been doing because I've been raising uh, so much money for charities at an international level as well as national. And I would tell her, you know, I'm a teacher by profession and I'm a Muslim chaplain at the university. And if you had the opportunity to ask her a question, what would you ask her? I would like to ask her, is she celebrating Valentine's Day? I'm going on Valentine's Day and, I, and I'm really curious to know whether is she is celebrating Valentine's Day or not. Or did she have a lunch, for example, with her husband earlier on in the day? Because I'm going in the evening and I don't know. That's what I'm curious about, to be quite honest with you. But I don't know if I'd be allowed to ask a cheeky question like that. <laughs> I'm very excited. The first couple of days I didn't sleep at night when I got the invitation and now it's sort of dying down, but I know nearer the time it's going to get very exciting again. And I think days after all of this event, the excitement will still be there for a good couple of weeks, I would say. That's Sidra Naim, who's off to meet the Queen on St Valentine's Day. And with any luck, I'm going to ask her how she celebrates, Her Majesty celebrates St Valentine's Day. It'll be interesting to find out.